Hello everyone, last week was my birthday, so I had an idea. Listener and the family should come to my party. So let's make a party in Rhino. It's going to be fun, I hope you enjoy it. Let's start by drawing a square and then let's make a batch from it. Now the base surface is ready, so let's get some trees. I brought two trees from one of the channels on Telegram. There are many channels that offer free 3D models on Telegram, most of them are in 3ds Max format. But you can bring them to Rhino by converting them to object format. Let's open the VR asset editor and make a new material and let's call it 3A. And let's repeat it twice. Let's select the first leaf of the tree and make a blight selection for the first material and let's do the same for the other leaves. Now let's open the file in which the material is located and drag and drop the leaves material into the diffuse map. Let's copy it to other material and now let's check if there are any leaves that didn't get any material. Now let's make the wood material and apply it to the trees. The trees are almost ready. It remains to put the opacity texture, so let's drag and drop the opacity texture into the opacity map. As a tip, don't put all the texture from the file on the material. This will only increase the rendering time and will not be clear unless you are taking a shot close to the leaves. And now our leaves are ready. The next step is modeling the main facade of the villa. Let's start by drawing the outline then extrude them and make a copy for the two levels. And then let's copy the line we draw to the upper floor. Now let's make a cube on the corner of the building and make several vertical copies of it. Now let's copy the cube to the other corner of the buildings. But let's make one more cube at the top of the entrance. Now let's draw the boundaries of the entrance area and put a column on its corner. After that let's add details on the column by adding some cubes. Then let's copy the columns to the other corner. Let's copy the entrance lines to the level of the first floor. Now let's put a roof over the entrance and extrude surface above it. And now let's start making windows. First, let's start draw the outer boundaries. Then we divide it from the middle through a line. And then make an offset to the outer boundary. Then we draw the internal partitions of the window. Now let's start extruding the partitions and copy it several times in the places that we draw. And after we're done, let's add some borders to the window. In the end, let's make surface under the window to be a glass. And this make thickness for it. Now, let's make a place for the hands of the windows. As an addition, let's make an extra extrusion, the size of the window, to help us make splits in the wall. Now let's move the window to its place and make an opening in the wall through the splits commands. Now let's copy the window several times. After that, let's make a rectangular window. It's easier than this and it has the same steps. And after it's done, let's put it in its place. I noticed now that the height of the first floor has become not ideal compared to the height of the window. So I will reduce the, its height. Let's increase the width of the wall a little to fit the size of the window. Now let's copy the window several times. Then let's copy the cubes in the corner to the other side of the wall. Let's do a trim in the wall where new windows are. Now let's copy the window to the upper floor as the door to the terrace and make trim in the wall. Now let's define the outside lines on the entrance and draw lines from them. Let's draw arc on the top and make an offset for the curves after joining them. Let's move the curves into the entrance place. Then let's draw the rest of the curves to become an entrance wall. And after we are done, Let's make join to the curve and extrude the closed plan curve. And now the wall is ready. Let's repeat the same steps on the entrance sides. Now let's get some external cornices design from Pinterest. Then let's draw it on Rhino. After complete, we start moving the curve to the wall and draw the bath to make a sweep. Let's repeat the same steps on the border of the windows as well as on the remaining walls. Now let's make some paramides on the top of the wall as a roof for the building. Now let's copy this window to the main entrance and make a trim in the wall. Now let's copy the cubes from one corner of the wall to the other with the mirror command. And after we are done, let's delete the surfaces of the other side of the building and copy the facade that we completed in its place. Let's put cube on top of the window that will make it look better. Now on the same steps. Let's make a frame for the entrance wall as well as a frame for the wall of the terrace. Well, the building is almost ready. 
we have to raise it off the ground a little. After that, we draw a frame on the lower border on the entire wall and draw its path to make a sweep. Let's draw a staircase section and draw its path to make a sweep. Finally, let's set the cube under the wall to reach the ground. And now the villa facade is ready. Now, I brought a dining table from Telegram. I also brought some ornamental trees also from Telegram. Let's start making the material. First, I made a new material and I called it Makata and I duplicated it. Now let's add the leaf texture to the first material on the fuse map and the opacity texture on the opacity map. And then let's add wood texture on the twigs in the second material. After complete, we select the tree and turn it into a Vera proxy. The same applies to the trees that we add first. We also convert them to a Vera proxy. Now let's make a square around the project land. Then let's open the grasshopper and add a curve on it. Then let's divide it into equal distance and let's make it 222. Now let's add a Vera proxy. Now let's add the proxy mesh. We then specify the file path to the last tree we made. Then let's add the material the same order as the Vera asset editor. Then we move the box to the point in the curve. Then we add the Vera render to the grasshopper. And let's connect the proxy to it through our Vera instance. Now let's add the Vera skin to the Vera render. And now everything is ready. Now I brought these trees, but there was a problem that the leaves are joined to the branch. But there is always a solution. The first step is explode the mesh. Then we go to the selection tool. Then choose the selection small object tool. Then we put distance closer to the dimensions of the leaf, which is in this case 0 0.05. And let's do it again with the rest of trees. The most important, don't forget to select all the leaves and join them to reduce the file size. And then we create the material as we learned before. Then we apply it to the tree. Finally, we make it a proxy. And now I have brought a lamp post, which unfortunately will not be used later. And then I create the material for it. And now we add HDRI, which I downloaded from HDRI Heaven website. And then I raise this value to 2. And now let's create the material of the project land, which is the grass. And let's apply it to the surface. Then let's go to the texture mapping and choose the apply planner mapping and then we scale it. Now let's create the material of the stone facade and apply it to the surfaces. Then let's create the material of the stone cornices and apply it to the surfaces. And now let's do a wire bend to the material in the diffuse map and choose color correction. And let's increase the brightness. Then let's create the glass material and apply it to the glass of the windows. So we should make it black and increase reflection and refraction value. Then let's create the material of the window frame and apply it for. And let's keep it white. Now let's go to the stone facade material and copy the diffuse map to the bump map and make its value 0.01 and increase the reflection a little and make a reflection glossiness 0.95. Now let's create the material of the roof and apply it for it. Then let's copy the diffuse map to the bump map and make its value to 0.1. And now let's do warp for the bump map and reduce the brightness and contrast value. Then let's increase the bump map value to 0.33. And go to the diffuse map and increase the color offset a little. Then let's close the building from behind and apply the stone facade material too. Now let's distribute the tree on both sides of the entrance. And then let's put the curtains behind the windows after turning them into a proxy. Then I brought some small trees to distribute under the windows also after turning them into a proxy. Now let's put some trees between the windows. After I finished I brought a large tree with dense leaves. It will help fill the skin. Then let's distribute the trees randomly around the fence. Now I brought Rhino model and give it a stone texture and copy it to the bump map and made its value 0.05 and then let's increase the reflection. Then let's match the rest of the model to the Rhino material. Now let's copy the entrance and start repeating the columns next to each other and put a floor under the columns. And then let's make an entrance for the cars. And then let's make a roof over the columns and make a path around it to make a sweep. Then I brought some cars from one of my old projects. After that I brought a horse model and put it in the end of the trees. Now I set a table on place and brought some gift and start making a material for it. And of course the material for gift ribbons, which I made it bright yellow. Now let's start making the table material and start with the table cloth. Always try to start with diffuse map and after finishing go back and complete the rest of maps. So let's move to the material of the chairs and start with the wood and then the fabric. And after we finish, we make the material of the things on the table. I won't explain it because I will delete it later. That's because I noticed too late that doesn't fit the birthday party. Now let's make the cake material and don't forget to save the file. Well, let's make the cake white and put a bump map for it with 0.05 value. And then we create the material of the dish and then the material of the leaf. And let's put the diffuse map and the bump map and the reflection map to the leaves. And then let's create the material of the roses. Then let's select the jars and convert them to sub-D surfaces to make them smoother. 
and let's make its material which is glass then the material of marshmallow so let's make the diffuse color pink and go to the advanced setting and increase the sheen value then let's create the material of the biscuit so let's start putting the diffuse map and increase the reflection then let's wipe in the diffuse map and increase the saturation and brightness value then let's create the material of candle so let's make it white and increase the reflection and make the reflection glossiness 0.95 then let's create wood material for the painting frame and then let's add the paint which say love is sweet which I know has nothing to do with my birthday party then let's create wood material for the table and copy the diffuse map to the bump map and make its value 0.05 and let's do the same step to the barrels and then let's make this cookie texture by adding the diffuse map and normal map and make its value 0.05 now we almost done but we should edit the paint on photoshop so let's open the texture on photoshop first let's delete the text and add a new text and write happy birthday Mu'ayyad let's run a family and now let's go to the blinding options and change the underlying layer and then duplicate the layer and reduce the opacity then go to the stain and make it all green and make it opacity value 33 then go to the color overlay and make it black and make its opacity value 25 and now let's export it as a PNG finally let's exchange it with the paint on the Rhino file now let's convert the cars and horses to VR proxy so that the file will be fast to save now let's start creating the electrical wires first let's draw a line connecting the two trees then make a helix around the curve and make it turns 100 times then copy it with mirror command then select them and make a 0.001 pip now let's rotate it around the center line to avoid intersecting the two surfaces then let's select the surfaces and make cage it and choose line then let's move the middle control point down now let's get a hanging bulb and start making its material as we learned before and for the filament material let's add a new emissive and make its color orange now the bulb is ready let's move it to the wire and create a new wire to hang it and now let's create electrical wires material and make it dark gray with a little of reflection then let's put point light on the bulb and after completed let's convert the bulb to VR proxy and then let's copy them several times with the wires then let's copy the electrical wires with the bulb to the other trees and now let's start making this golden balloon first let's draw the outline then let's make an offset to the inside a little then make another offset also to the inside two times and make an extrude close planar curve then go to the elevation and copy it with mirror command after that, let's make polyon union to the surfaces, then make quadri mesh for them to convert them to the sub D. Then let's go to the top view and drop surface over the objects and choose the right spacing distance. After that, let's go to the elevation and make mirror for the surfaces and make a trim. And now let's make a curve on the surfaces border and make a ribbon with the right distance. Then let's move the balloon to the top of the picture and match them with it to get the same material. Then go to the texture mapping and choose the apply planner mapping command and make a rectangle on the picture border. And finally the balloon is ready. So let's put it in its place and make a new material in V-Ray and give it the same photo in the diffuse map. And let's increase the reflection and reduce the reflection glossiness a little. Now I brought these nice balloons and start making their material. First let's select them and make them a group. And then let's create a new material let's make it black and increase the reflection and reduce the reflection gloss then let's increase the refraction a little and reduce the opacity to half after that go to the diffuse map and right click on and choose multi sub then let's make the color pink and change the id to random by node handle and make hue variation 0.2 and gamma variation 0.1 and the seed 100 and the saturation variation also 0.1 and after that let's make the third material by adding the diffuse map and increase the reflection Finally, this is the result as you can see each balloon has different color. Now let's convert each one to proxy and then start copy them to the corner. Each time make a rotation and change the scale to make a variation. And this is the result. After that, let's start distribute the balloons on the wires and then make a new wires on the top of the table and connect them to the trees. Then start distribute the bulb on. Now let's enable the volumetric environment and choose the environment fog and make it color orange and the same for the emissions. Then make the height 10 and the distance about 500. After all that, let's disable the volumetric environment to make the interactive render faster. Now let's go to the cake material and reduce the reflection glossiness a little and reduce the bump map value to 0.01. Then let's go to the sun setting and make the vertical angle 5 and make the intensity multiplier 0.5 and the dome light 1.5. Now let's distribute the balloons on the new wires. After complete, I noticed that the sun facade is missing something, which is displacement map, which I don't have it. So let's go to the photoshop and make it. So first let's start draw lines in the border of the stones and then select them. And invert the selection and start with the rectangle randomly with the gray colors. Then let's set the texture and go to the VA. So let's create a new displacement and apply it to the facade. Then let's give it the new texture we made. 
and make the amount value 0.05 as you can see this is the result and let's do the same with the roof material but this time let's put the bump map on the displacement map and make the amount value 0.5 and the shift minus 0.115 then let's go to the diffuse map and make warping to reduce the saturation a little now I brought a bucket of flowers so let's start make its material let's start with the diffuse map for each flower and after complete let's increase the reflection and reduce the reflection glossiness a little for each flower and I brought another one to put it in the table and make the same steps then I brought some plants and spoons and start making their material let's start by putting the diffuse map for the piece at the bottom of the dish and then the material of the dish so let's make them gray and increase the reflection and reduce the reflection glossiness then let's increase the metal lens and the reflection IOR to 10.5 then let's create the material of the glass and also the material of the jewel but with making the refraction color pink now let's make the material of the piece of cloth by adding the diffuse map and the bump map with 0.01 value then I copy one of the flower from the bucket and put it on the table now let's make this new chairs material so let's make them beige and increase the reflection and reduce the reflection gloss and silicone finally let's give the wires black material and for the proxy let's select them and go to their setting and choose the new material we made now I brought some grasses and give it a diffuse map then I choose one and convert it to proxy then I draw a rectangle to distribute the grasses in then I start drawing random curve with sketch command after finish let's move the grass to the first of the curve and array the grass around the curve and choose the right number of copies then make the same step with the second curve then let's repeat the process until we get the result we want now let's export the VRS scan to open it in kiosk vintage and after opening the file first thing to do is disable the dinosaur then make the move speed 5 then disable the plum and then enable the sun then let's enable the obesity and the shading graph now let's enable the dinosaur and enable the fog and make them orange then let's reduce the fog to 20.3 and save the file I notice now that the yellow balloon is low so I'm going to raise it up a little on the rhino file and let's export the VR skin in the same location of the file to replace it then let's reload the file then let's enable the blom and make the intensity 2 and the threshold 30 and the iteration 5 now let's save new camera to make animation then let's insert camera 3 and then the camera 1 and make the duration 4 seconds then I change the iteration to 7 and for the last time I will disable the blom and start rendering some shots and now after rendering several shots to see the best setting let's edit the last one on photoshop and after making a lot of filters this is the final result and now let's render the animation and after it's done this is the result now let's drag and drop the video on photoshop and apply all the layers on it now let's export the video and this is the final result you can of course increase the samples to get better results but this is gonna take more rendering time for this animation it took about 15 minutes for 100 samples i hope you enjoyed my birthday party see you in the next video